Hello. I'm going to spend a few minutes now looking at the CS2R closed loop stepper drive from Leadshine. Well, this is the CS2R closed loop stepper drive from Leadshine. This is it here. Okay. It um, operates from 20 to 100 volts DC, comes in three current sizes, um, three to eight amps, has seven digital inputs on board, which are configurable, and three configurable outputs, and is controlled either via Modbus RTU, by the RS-485 ports on top here, or via the digital I.O. Now, it can be pre-programmed to have 16 unique positions on board, and you can access them positions either via the digital I.O. or via the Modbus interface, which means that you can set up a small set of sequences and a number of given moves and then call those sequences either from a, a simple digital input or via the Modbus interface via RS-485. So you've got a very contained, low-cost positioning system without the need for a, a high-end controller. Now, it is a closed-loop system, so it needs a closed-loop motor, and it's compatible with the CSM motor range from Leadshine. Here it is. This is a 23 NEMA size, but they come in uh, sizes 8 NEMA to 34 NEMA, and they all have a encoder on the back, and though those resolutions on that encoder are either 1,000 pulses per rev or 5,000 pulses per rev. Now, because it's a closed-loop system, it removes all the issues you have with a normal open-loop system and enhances the performance of your application. Um, I mentioned the Modbus earlier. Um, it does use standard RS-485 interfacing, and you can control up to 31 axis off a, a single uh, network. It's suitable applications where you'd want to do simple point-to-point -point moves, um, and you want to basically call those moves uh, and perform homing sequences, move to a certain index position, perform a task, and then repeat that. And you can trigger that either via BCD call on the I.O. or via the Modbus interface. Um, because it's self-contained and you don't need any other um, products, it can be used on its own, um, program it, walk away and just call it from the I.O. Well, I hope you found this video very useful. If you have, then please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, then please contact us at the links below. I thank you for your time. Thank you.